Hi everybody, it's Megan with Teach Me ABA powered by Piles and Associates. Today, we're going to talk about what I eat as a BCBA. So many of my colleagues have asked me, Megan, you're always running around from place to place, client location to client location, you're always eating in your car, how do you still manage to eat healthy? And a big part of that is planning ahead. It can be really easy to just get in the habit of stopping by a fast food place between clients, but you start to notice that as you promote to the BCBA level, the pounds start to pack on because you're not wrangling and playing with the kids on the floor anymore. So it's really important to eat healthy. So today I'll give you some of my pro tips about how to eat healthy while you're on the go. I like to start my week on Sunday just getting everything ready for the week because things get hectic as time goes by throughout your week and it can be really easy to just get lost in the fold of things and not want to prepare yourself after you're already tired from maybe a crazy day at work. So I recommend chopping everything first because I got all of this chopped in like three minutes, everything's cleaned, and then I can just throw it all together. It gets a little more tedious if you're doing one at a time. So I like to just salt and pepper all of my salad ingredients because that will give you a little more flavor later on. And salt's a preservative, which never hurts, right? So check out how quick I can do this. Cool, let's add our base. You're just competing against yourself, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just throw everything in there. See, so fast, so easy. Some cucumbers. And I like to mix up my salad ingredients each week just to keep things interesting. It can get really mundane if you just feel like you're eating greens and tomatoes and cucumbers all the time. So sometimes some beets are really fun to throw in there, different types of squashes. You can just really mix it up, but it's just nice to have like everything in one place because the less you have to think about it, the more likely you're to do it, right? A little bit of mint. Ta-da! So you'll notice that I haven't put any dressing in these so far and there's no protein. You're probably looking at it like, what? She must be starving every day. But this is one of the top secret things that you need to do so that you're not eating bad protein and getting sick in the middle of the day. So I've got a couple different protein options here and none of them will go bad in your car on a hot day. So even if you don't have the most insulated lunchbox or the best ice pack, you can still not have to skimp on the protein. Avocados are a great source. If you just keep a little plastic knife in your car, you can chop it up and toss it in there. Garbanzo beans, I like to put these in a little olive oil vinegar marinade with some herbs and you can just toss it in right before you're ready to eat. That way your salad doesn't get slimy. Any kind of bean will also be a good protein option. And then I discovered these little tuna packets at Costco and what I really like about it is that it doesn't have a bunch of liquid and juice inside so you don't have to worry about it making a mess or where you're going to discard all of the tuna juice because that can get gross. So you just massage it and then you can put it on your salad in the car and you have nice, healthy, lean protein and you don't have to worry about getting sick because your meat's gone bad. Another helpful thing is to get a little salad dressing mixer like this. This one doesn't leak very often, but one of the worst things to happen in the middle of your day is to go and find that your entire lunchbox is covered in oil because you didn't seal this all the way. So as much as I'm trying to cut back on one use plastic, I do stick these in a Ziploc bag inside my lunchbox just in case of a leak. I hope you all found this episode helpful and it gave you some good ideas of what you can eat for lunch as a BCBA. Pop in and let us know your ideas. How do you get through the day in a healthy way when you're driving from place to place? 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks. I'll see you soon.